Hi, today I'm going to show you how to change the spindles on your catch rake. The tools you will need will be a 5mm hex head wrench and a 13mm box end wrench. You can start with either side of the trike. I'm going to start with the right side. Begin by removing the top cap. If the top cap doesn't come out straight away, loosen the two 6mm bolts in the side of the handlebar clamp. Loosen each one by about a half to a quarter turn at a time to make sure that you don't overload one of the two bolts. Once the two bolts here are loose, the top cap should come right off. Remove the tie rod bolt with the 5mm hex head the 13 millimeter box end wrench. As you can see, since I have the trike up in the air, everything's wanting to come apart already. If you've got it on the ground, the whole assembly will stay together. Um, it may make it a little easier to deal with. When you remove the tie rod, bolt, and nut, make sure you keep track of the washer, the bolt, the nut, and also the cone washer, because that is also very important. And you may drop some tools, but that's okay. Once you have the spindle coming out of the wheel. Once you have the spindle coming out of the head tube, the dust cover will come off. On the top you'll find a two millimeter spacer, a nylon, nylon bearing, and on the spindle you'll find another bearing. Take the bearing off the spindle I like to put everything on the seat just because it's up out of the way and you won't be fumbling with it. Next, open the quick release lever to the wheel and start unscrewing the outside cap here. Once you have the end cap unthreaded, take that out. Then, to remove the axle from the wheel, push with your thumb, and the axle will just slide right out of the spindle like so. Keep track of the springs that are inside the axle. Slide the wheel off, set it aside. Next, you're left with the brake caliper attached to the old spindle. Take your 5mm hex head wrench, loosen the two 5mm hex head bolts on the top, or in this case, bottom of the caliper and you can move to the two on the sides. Here is a new spindle compared to an old spindle. As you can see the aluminum around the top here is much higher on the new spindle making it much stronger. So, take the main bearing, slip it back down over the spindle, 
insert it into the head tube. Nylon bearing. Spacer. Then the dust cover. The dust cover having a rubber seal will actually help hold everything up inside. At this point it's probably easiest to slip the handle back over. The top cap back in place and the top cap bolt. Make sure when you snug the top cap bolt back up that there's no play. You might be able to see in this one I do have a little bit of slop here. So I'm just going to snug it up a little bit at a time until I eliminate all the play. And the play is gone. Next, reinstall the brake caliper. Make sure both brake caliper bolts have the washer on the bolt first, then through the spindle, then thread into the disc brake mount, caliper mount. There. As you may remember, we loosened these two bolts up just a little bit so that there's some play in that brake caliper. This makes it easier to reinstall the wheel. On. Slide the axle through. Don't forget the springs. The spring's function is to help you remove the outside cap when you unthread it. Set the spacing between the wheel and the handlebar to the desired distance. And then go back to these two bolts on the side and tighten them down. We're going to go incrementally to make sure that we don't over torque them. So we'll just go about a half to a quarter turn at a time. Reinstall the tie rod. Remember, remember which way the tie rod bolt runs through and which side of the spindle it's mounted on. Cat trike villagers are the only trike that have the tie rod connecting on the underside of the spindle with the hex head bolt running upwards. That is how you replace a spindle on a cat trike.